So we're here on campus at UC yeah. Berkeley, and I think in your book you talk about college dorm as an example of you know ideas of of power and yeah. how people. What, what can you talk to me about that? Yeah. So you know one of the one of the things that um, the the science of power that I've been part of has taught us is we really have to, and anybody in their own life will recognize this, which is that. We used to think of power as like, well, that's just politics or it's money or it's military action. But really, power is everywhere, right? Bertrand Russell, the great British philosopher, said that, you know, energy is the fundamental question in physics. It's about how objects relate to each other. And power is the fundamental question of social dynamics. All relationships have a dimension of power to them. And guided by that, you know, Social scientists like myself have studied power dynamics in families, between parents and kids, you know, romantic partners, and then in my own lab, you know, we study who rises to power in dorms at Berkeley, in sororities, fraternities, basketball camps, uh, and again, you know, what we do, and, and college dorms allow us to do this as we you know, they all come their first year, they're excited about being part of this dorm, they don't know each other, they come from different backgrounds, uh, and then we can study who quickly gains the respect of their peers. And what we find is really interesting, and it replicates, for example, in financial advising firms, which is really quickly people fold into social hierarchies, right? You sort of meet people, you interact with them a bit, and you realize, like, this person's somebody I'd respect and I'd like to see in a leadership position. Um, and then secondly, that kind of reputation you develop kind of moves through your social networks, you know, through casual conversations and gossip and things like that. So quickly, groups of different kinds kind of start to give power to certain kinds of individuals, the people who are good for the group. So it's giving as opposed to getting? Yeah, and again, you know, the, the science, and you know, science is good because it, it challenges our stereotypes and our cultural assumptions, and so there's this, you know, idea out in the, 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 the broad culture of, well, you know, how you get power is you grab it, you know, and we love literature and dramas and television shows about power grabs, right, and we, um, you know, we think about, um, you know, uh, I've been watching Breaking Bad and about, you know, how he, Walter White becomes this Machiavellian and he grabs power. Well, that's fiction. <laughs> and more often, uh, what you see in the organizations that make up our lives is people, groups, kind of give power to certain individuals. And in fact, individuals who want to go out and grab power, right, in Machiavellian ways, quickly develop reputations as... Machiavellians, and they become isolated in the, the activities of the group. 